I know that this is one game out of 82, but that doesn't help the way I feel. I am truly disappointed on how the Sixers played today. Besides Jimmy Butler and J.J. Redick, just disgusted with what was put out there on the court. You had our stars, Joel Embiid, Ben Simmons. They came up like this tonight, and there was a lot of a lot of attention on this game. It's on ESPN. The, the The vibe in the building was there. It felt like playoffs. You can feel the intensity, and you had your two best players come up insanely tiny. Uh, Joel Embiid looked like a child today. He likes to talk the smack. He likes to dominate the players and the bad teams in this league. What happens when you get put to the test? When Serge Ibaka was on you? When Valachunas is on you? He looked like a child. He got dominated. He was a mess. I mean, some of these shot attempts he took were atrocious. Joel Embiid was so disappointing tonight. He went to the free throw line to shoot two free throws all night. That's his game. I didn't see him post up on the low block at all tonight. He was so mentally just defeated. Defeated out of the game plan of the Toronto Raptors, which was executed perfectly. We obviously obviously saw Kawhi Leonard go off. He had what thirty eight points, thirty six and nine. Ibaka had eighteen and eight. They really had three guys that dominated us. Obviously, we have a terrible bench. The turnovers with twenty one didn't help. I don't understand that. Ben Simmons had seven of those turnovers, and Bede had four. On the offensive side of the glass, the amount of second chance opportunities made me sick to my stomach. That's an effort thing. Rebound is just effort. And Bede was minus 23. He had 10 and 12. Now you can look at Ben Simmons' stat line and say, oh, 8, 10, and 12. He was one re- or one bucket away from a triple-double. What bothers me here is he was 4 of 6 from the field. It's not enough. And I know Kawhi Leonard's on the other side. But Ben is supposed to be this generational talent. He needs more than four of six shooting. And I'm not talking shooting. I've been through this many times. But he could be way more aggressive than that. This is a big stage. On the big stage, the Sixers fell short. I mentioned Joel and B loving to dominate all the other big guys, and when it came up to the to the real top dogs here, he, he came up small. That's the same for this team. Who cares if we destroy the the terrible teams and the average teams? These are the games that matter. These are the games that matter, and I know we'll learn from it. I know it's one game out of eighty two, but I am truly disappointed because I, I saw Embiid quit. I saw Ben Simmons not be dominant. Jimmy Butler. A force. A double-double. 38 points. J.J. Redick not giving up. Those two not giving up. I saw MB look like a baby tonight. It was bad. It was extremely bad. As a team, we only shot 14 free throws. How are we supposed to be effective? How? We did not get to the free throw line. Our defense was bad. We allowed 27 points off of those 21 turnovers. We allowed a 22 to 7 run in the fourth quarter and to end the first half we allowed a, a mini run and we lost the lead. We were we were down 4 after that. The first quarter we played tremendous. Great D, the headbands were out there locking down them. We were shooting the ball well. Then we just got sloppy. 21 turnovers again. Why why do we do this? Why is this so consistent? It's consistent. We just came up very tiny on a big stage, and that bothers me. The depth on this bench, it's clearly not enough. TJ McConnell and Landry Shamit and Mike Muscala were our, was our first rotation there as we were moving the starters out. I mean, it's not enough. And then other than that, we had Furkan Korkmaz logging in like seven minutes or so. But I do think that it goes more than just the bench. It's clear to everybody we need to add to that. But it comes from our starters. It comes from Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid just not showing up tonight. Just getting shut down. I know I've mentioned Wilson Chandler before and stated, I like what he does. He doesn't score a lot of points, but he he plays D, doesn't turn the ball over. He's got great basketball IQ. And I still do agree with that. But in a game like this, when you see these young stars struggling... 
This is where I would like to see Wilson Chandler maybe step up a little more. He had three points today. I think he only had six shot attempts. I know he's not this this knockdown shooter, but I would like to see a veteran like that be able to help out these young players when they're struggling. But I think we might need a, a better shooter at the four position and maybe move him to the bench. I don't know. We got holes to fill. We need to make sure that these these younger players can show up on, on big events. Because at the end of the day, I, I don't care if you dominate the Washington Wizards. I don't care. These are the games that matter. These are the type of environments you're going to have to play in. You can't be turning the ball over like that. And, and the offensive rebounds we allowed was the most disturbing part to me. Out-rebounded of that nature is piss poor. It's a lack of effort. It's a lack of hustle. That's something you can control. You can control rebounds. It's a hustle stat. In reality, it is. And we just allowed all these opportunities. There are second chances. And seriously, it, it felt like three guys. Three guys. Kawhi Leonard, Serge Ibaka, and Valachunas, who normally is a starter. I'll, I'll give Pascal a nice golf clap. As it seemed for the Toronto Raptors, they put together a game plan and executed it perfectly. They made Joel Embiid uncomfortable. That was the worst I've ever seen him play. His takes to the basket were bad. I can't even process the fact that he didn't even try and take Serge Ibaka in the low post. He wasn't boxing uh, He wasn't boxing him out, posting him up. He wasn't doing anything. He looked like a little kid. And it's disappointing. I'm disappointed. Two guys showed up for me tonight out of the Sixers. Jimmy Buckets did not did not stop fighting. And J.J. Redick did not stop fighting. Everyone else? This is what they showed me. This is how they came up tonight. Now, I know it's early into the season. You can learn from this. But didn't we do something very similar last time we were in Toronto? Obnoxious amount of turnovers. Did we learn then? Are we doing the same thing this time? I'm upset. I'm upset with this loss. They didn't bring it tonight. Well, two guys did. But as a team, no bueno. Let me know what you think down below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.